Miles Morales cover of the comic book number 42. That's what we're going to have a go at today. So I'm in the landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fa fast, go too fast. If I go too fast, hit pause. <laughs> so complicated dynamic kind of pose, right? We got legs, we got a hand, you know, his head's looking this way, three quarter, not easy, right? So take your time, hit pause a lot. I'm gonna just mark out the shape for the head first to get us all in the right position, right? So center point of my page is about here. Come over a little bit and we're gonna start with his chin. So it's kind of a stylized drawing of him. It's not like the video game. So his chin is like here, okay? And the top of his head is like way up here. Okay, and you notice this is to the right of this line because the center line for his head like curves back that way. Okay, so we'll start with the top now and we'll join it down, sort of down here, right? So we'll go, we'll keep it as round as we can. His eye kind of sticks off a little bit here, but we'll just bump it around this. Let's just go, his eye should be in here somewhere. And this comes down for his jaw, down to his chin, right? It's a tricky sort of thing to get right now. So he's looking this way, okay? So the back of his head, down around, sticks out the back. And this will like join his neck and stuff, just here. We do have like a bump for his ear and his jaw on this side, right? So from the other side of the chin, the jaw will go like this, right? And then it'll go like up here. You have like a slight sort of bump for his, his like ear or something here. It's like light. Right, so it's like his ear in there. But the back of his head does join his neck, so it goes down that way. It's because we're in a three-quarter pose, right? And the webbing will sort of give us an idea of the direction for his head as well. So the eyes in here, right? So I'll just do the center line, the center webbing line, okay? So this center starts, the middle of his head up here curves down. This will give us an idea where to put the eyes. Curves down like that, okay? So that's the center line for his head. And then out from there, we have a line for webbing going that way and another one going that way, right? So the corners of his eyes come out from here. And this is like below halfway, by the way. So it's a good bit down because his head, he's looking down this way, right? So like halfway down his head's about here, right? And you're below that. So that's this halfway line, you're down below. So then, we are gonna start his Spider-Man eyes. So where's that? Here we are. So let's go. So we're gonna, it's comic book sort of, Miles Morales eyes, so they're kind of easier. You just go up to there. And then it spikes up. And then we will go down. Like that, okay? And the other eye, three quarter pose, so it's like it's going off the side of his head, right? So it goes kind of straight up this way, kind of bumps out maybe a little bit here. And then the bottom down this way and should bump a little bit here as well. Right, so then the inside of it goes like here. And then up. Like so. And then the inside of this eye same sort of thing, just following that outside line, around like that, okay? So you get a better idea of the, the pose. 
So we might as well finish the webbing that we have on his face, right? So you have more sort of bumps here. Kind of there. And then this goes into the corner up here again. Okay, that little star that's kind of in the middle. And then lines, spider webbing lines. So Miles Morales webbing lines are usually um, red. I'll do them black and we can change them to red after. If you're doing a pencil, you can color them red after. So then this one, down like so, and maybe another one going that way. And then this one, around the back of his head. And there's another one here, I think, somewhere. Okay, a few more keep going. So this one goes around his jaw. This one goes around his ear. And then this one comes out from the corner. Then we do the cross ones. curving around his face. Goes up and around that way. Like so. And we keep going. This is like the most time consuming sort of part of Drawing Spider-Man, doing all these webs. Around his head as well. So here, coming down. Okay, so now anatomy, right? So this is like the tricky part. So the center line of his chest, his body's going this way, right? So you've got like a center line of his chest sort of going down here, okay? And then you have collarbone going that way. And his other collarbone going sort of this way, right? So it can go like up towards his shoulder on this side, boom. there right center line for his chest he's got one arm on the ground another one on his knee so we have his trapezius on that side here his trapezius on this side so we're going this way and this will go around for his shoulder like that and his other shoulder around like that so he has those red things on each shoulder which makes it kind of easier for us, right? So this red comes back in there. And this one comes back in here. So then we go tricep out to his elbow which kind of it's sitting on his sort of his leg so this comes like down here and this is his forearm that way and then bicep there 
So his other arm will go bicep, tricep. And a forearm going down that way. And then so like his his knee sticks out like up here, right? And comes down inside his body. So like say like in here. There's like his, his abs go like that way and stuff. And then his other leg. Is this way nice so this leg keeps going up and out this way he's really hunched over classic sort of spider-man pose and then the knee comes down in around for his shin down that way and his calf then sort of comes in here and then calf muscle is there going down that way another thigh muscle sort of here his knee cap so his other knee cap is here this is like yeah, his kneecap, all those muscles on your knee, just there, and then your shin, down off my page that way. And then his calf is in here, so his hand comes over this, right? But we'll just, we'll draw it in. So his calf will go down there. Your calf muscle, and then he's got some like his hamstring muscles back here, and like his crotch and buttocks sort of area. Down there, and like your sort of leg muscle or something. Okay, so that's the pose, right? I'll do this hand, then we'll do his red lines, and then we'll like erase things that we don't need and don't want and stuff. So this hand, we'll bring it down. And it's got an index finger just sticking down here. So hands are quite tricky, right? So that's his index finger, and that's his knuckle. So we've got like these, what look like sort of diamonds on top of his knuckles, right? So that'll help us. So one there. And then the back of this finger. There. And then his thumb. There. So he's kind of, he's doing this kind of thing. Just the hand position, the Spider-Man hand position. Down this way. Okay, so then another finger knuckle and stuff. So this goes like this way, curves around. And you have another diamond knuckle thing here. Another one beside it. And then this finger goes down that way. And then his little finger sticks down here. So it's like red and black. What way is his fingers? I think they're red on top. So we'll put this final diamond, say, here. And his little finger can come down. Like 
like this. Okay, and this is going to join the back of his hand, so it'll bump sort of around here to his wrist. Like that, okay. And then we'll add those circles that come around his fingers. So they're all red. And of course, you'll erase any lines that you don't need. You know, that you shouldn't see for his leg underneath. Right, like that. So I'll just thicken up these lines just so you can see a little bit better. And any lines for the leg in here will go when we erase. Okay, so that's the anatomy. So tricky position now. Take your time, maybe pause it there. And then we'll get going with the spider in the middle and all the, web, the webs and stuff, right? Another sort of tricep line there. Like his forearm, maybe. Okay. Okay, so the red uh, sort of triangle on his shoulder right here. Like so. And on this side as well, they kind of join his chest on this side, so it'll go down. And it kind of disappears behind his thigh there. Right? The other side of it. This way into there. We got this spike here. It goes down towards his abdomen. So they're like meat down here somewhere. Right, so the other side disappears off down here. Down like so. One thing I didn't put in is his rib cage, which is like here somewhere. Right, and you can add sort of these kind of rib lines or something just there. Darkening up your main lines will help them stand out from the webbing when you do it. So if you go around your edge, I'll do it at the end, thicken up the line. So now this spider, so again, I'm going to do this um, probably black, but he's actually red. Well, the lines might bleed together, but we'll go. So the spider here, right? The head is right, right in the middle of his chest here. And he's got mandibles on top. Right, and then there's all legs that stick out. So, say like, yeah, we'll just do each leg. So it just comes out. there, the other side, like that, this is a bit tricky now, so, goes down, to there, and there's another one outside us, here, Another one outside is here. Can you bring this in and in? And 
and then two coming down from here. One there, one there. And it's because we're at this angle that it's kind of harder. So down like that, right? They're like little sides. Right, and then this goes back up, in, back up, in, and then this goes back, down, up, in, to the body again. So all of them kind of connect nearly to the top body. And there's four, so out. Down, back, in. And then we have his abdomen. So his abdomen kind of, I don't know, it's got like an extra, okay. So it's got like an extra bit around the abdomen. So it goes out, down, into there, back up. Into here, and back into there, and then we go out, down. There's like an extra little bit that I never really noticed before. Like that. Okay, and this is all red. Red, red, okay. So now, webbing, the fun part. So, there's like the webbing coming down his chest here. This is like a webbing line, okay? The center one. So it kind of like bumps across here on top, above his collarbone, more or less, right? We could have like some extra neck muscle lines and stuff. Just coming out from his neck there. But optional, this, right? Okay. These are shoulder muscles and stuff. Now the webbing. So what do we do? So we'll go we'll go down from his neck first. Yeah, let's just go. So go out from here, right? This one could, travels down his body this way. So the webbing sort of gives you an idea direction of his skin and stuff. So it goes like down here. Right, so you're you're curving down the neck down this way and then this one will go out here and keep going keep going never give up never surrender right so traveling around the chest then down the shoulder the trapezius going that way right and then another one coming out here and you want it to bump slightly Over the neck, there, see that? 
So that one goes in behind his neck, travels up the back and comes out. So you wanna follow those sort of body shapes. You know, this one comes down his shoulder muscle and then it'll like bump over his trapezius muscle. So we'll go down and up. It's kind of complicated, but that's the general idea. It goes up the back of his head then and joins that one. So you can't see it here. And then you have a smaller one that goes up at the back of his head, probably joins that one. And that one there. And then there's like one more on its own kind of here. Okay, so now we have to do the webbing that comes across, okay? So like his face, the webbing that goes around. So no easy way. I wish there was, we just go for it. So here, coming around his neck. his head and the next one comes out here You're looking at the space and you're trying to figure out am I accurate or not? So this one goes quite long over here. Hmm. I think this guy made a mistake somewhere. He's put like an extra one here. Well, you get the idea. I love when I find things like that in professional artists' drawings. You know, you had to put an extra row because the gap was too big. You would never know. It always makes me feel good when I find that. It's like, oh, it's okay. These guys make mistakes too. Mm, makes them feel human. Cause like this is an amazing drawing, not my one, his one. <laughs> um, whoever the artist is, obviously, I don't, I don't actually know. Whoever did the cover for Miles Morales, Forty Two. You rock. Okay, and thankfully that's all the webbing Miles has. The rest is, um, you know, all sort of black and stuff. 
So I'm just going to thicken up some of my edge lines now. And on the cover, he does have um, lots of webbing coming out of his fingers, but I think I'll just leave it like this. And if you want, you can add webbing coming out of his hands and in the background and stuff. We'll just keep it simple. And um, this was this drawing was hard enough just with this stuff. So. So the webbing from the fingers is an optional addition. Okay, but I think I'm pretty happy with that. That'll do. Miles Morales from the cover of number 42. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.